Hi friends, welcome to Yoga with Sarah. Join me today for a brief 10 minute vinyasa flow practice. That means we link the poses with the breath and it's energizing. So I'll see you there. Let's start our practice today, sitting tall through the crown of the head, drawing the shoulder blades on the back and gently pulling your belly in toward the spine. Nose is aligned right over the navel and we're taking a moment to close your eyes and tune into how you feel today. For a few moments, noticing the natural flow of your breath. Relaxing your face, your eyes, your jaw, and trying to relax your hip joints as much as you can in the seated position. On your inhale, sweep your arms overhead. On your exhale, bring your hands through heart center. So we're gonna link the movement with the breath in that way two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come down through the center channel. Inhale, sweep the arms up. <coughs> Excuse me. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down through heart center and bringing the thumbs to the center of the chest. Set your intention for today. Whatever you want to cultivate in this practice, let it inspire your effort. Now we'll roll over the knees, come into a tabletop position. Tops of feet flat, fan your fingers wide. On the inhale, drop your belly, look up. On the exhale, scoop the tail and round chin to chest. On your inhale, drop the belly, look up. On your exhale, root through the tops of the feet and round. Warming up the spine one more time on the inhale. Exhale as you round, tuck your toes, send your hips toward your heels and stretch your hands away from your knees. And then lift your knees and come on up into downward facing dog. Pedaling out your feet, spreading your fingers wide. Now on your inhale, stretch your right heel high for three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, tented fingers, slide your right foot through, touch your left knee down, take the top of your left foot flat, then reach your hands behind, interlace your fingers, point your first fingers down. As you inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, hands frame that front foot. Tuck your left toes, lift your left thigh. Spin that left heel down and straighten your right leg all the way and fold, tractioning that right sitting bone straight back, Parsvottanasana. Inhale there, exhale, fold your forehead toward your right shin. And then glide your right knee forward, plant your palms and step to plank pose. Hug your elbows in, lower all the way down onto your belly as you exhale, and then inhale, cobra pose, and then exhale, tuck your toes. Float the hips up to downward dog. Just a couple breaths in downward dog, finding the length and lift of your low back. And then inhale, stretch your left heel high. Exhale, knee to nose, lift your belly, slide your left foot through. Touch your right knee down, take the top of your right foot flat, interlace your awkward finger on top and point your two first fingers straight down as you lift your chest, finding that upper back bend. Inhale, exhale, hands frame that front foot, tuck your right toes, lift your right thigh and spin that right heel down. So it's about heel to heel alignment. We're gonna fold over that left leg, pressing from the ball of your left foot and dragging that left sitting bone back. Inhale, exhale, right hip point rolls toward the floor and forehead melts toward the left shin. Then bend through that left knee, coming into a lunge, step back to plank. Hug your elbows in, lower all the way down, one long line, chaturanga. Take your feet flat for cobra pose on the inhale, and then exhale, tuck your toes and lift your hips. Downward dog. Shake your head out. Inhale through your nose, exhale, let it out. Draw the belly toward the spine. And then wave into plank on the inhale, bring your knees down on the exhale, come into child's pose. From child's pose, pressing through the tops of the feet. As you inhale, slide your right foot right between your hands. Let your hips sink and take your left hand wider than the hip. Take your right hand onto your back, look to the right, engage that left gluteal, hug your right knee in toward the midline, 
and drop that right sitting bone down. Inhale there, exhale, release. Hands are framing that front foot. Slide your right leg back, big toes touch, child's pose, exhaling. Then inhale, slide that left foot right between the hands. Left knee is over the heel. Right hand comes a little wider than the shoulder. Right rib toward left rib. Take your left hand on the back, looking to the left. Breathing there. Engage that right gluteal. Inhale. Exhale, hands frame that front foot. Lift your hips, slide your left foot back. Big toes touch, child's pose. Then stand up on your knees. As you inhale, take your hands to imaginary back pockets. Lift up the center of your chest. Looking up, back bend. And exhale, coming back to neutral. Sit down to the right and swing your legs around. Flex your feet, point your toes straight up toward the ceiling. Lift one sitting bone at a time so that the two sitting bones equally press to the ground and we sit up really tall. And then start to reach your hands forward for your toes and fold into Paschimottanasana, spreading your chest toward your toes. Inhale into your back ribs. Exhale, gently fold. And then drop your tailbone. Come on up, inch yourself forward. And with the belly containing toward the spine, make your way onto your back and let go onto your back for a moment. Let your head roll side to side, palms facing up. When your nose comes back in alignment with the belly button, step one foot on the, on the floor and then the other foot on the floor. So we step both feet on the floor, hip width distance apart. Drag your shoulders underneath the back, root through the feet and lift the hips and pelvis up into your bridge pose. So you drag your heels away from the shoulder blades, hugging your knees in, breathe your chest toward the chin and you may be able to interlace the fingers underneath the back. Don't overdo. Inhale, lift the chest toward the chin. Exhale, roll down slowly, upper back. Middle back, lower back releasing. Last of all, wag your knees in and out a couple times there. Then hug your right knee in, slide your left heel out straight, squeeze your right thigh toward the side rib. And then extend your right heel out on the inhale, stretch long. Exhale, squeeze that left knee in, give it a hug. And then inhale, extend long, toes to fingers. Exhale, hug both knees in and come into full happy baby, reaching for the outside edges of the feet, bending the knees deeply, soles of feet face the sky. Rock side to side. Long line from crown to tail. Then release, bring your feet onto the ground, give your feet a nice press, then slide your legs out straight, coming into your Shavasana for today, palms facing up. Let your back body rest from the back of the head all the way down through the toes. Let the floor cradle the back body as you notice the pause at the end of the exhale and at the top of the inhale. There's nothing to do, nowhere to go. For a few moments, let everything be as it is. And let the systems of the body realign. The rising and falling of the breath, bringing a sense of balance and ease into your energy field into your whole body. And then remember your intention for practice today and invite gratitude for anything at all into your mind, your heart, your cells. And we're starting to wiggle fingers and toes, stretch the arms overhead, take a reset, inhale, exhale, hands come down through heart center and draw your knees in. 
and slowly roll to either side and press on up to sit. Sitting tall through the crown of the head, take your hands to heart center, and I'm wishing you joy, peace, health, strength, courage, and trust on the journey. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here and subscribing to my channel. You can also hit that super thanks button now and support me, and that's amazing. And I'm so glad you're a bit part of my YouTube community. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.